Today we're going to make a classic winter cocktail, the hot toddy. For this drink, you're going to need an Irish coffee mug, a measuring cup, a bar spoon, a vegetable peeler, and a kettle. This drink uses whiskey, boiling water, a sugar cube, a lemon peel, and whole cloves. The hot toddy is one of those drinks that has a murky definition. It's like an old-fashioned. Everyone knows its name, but no one totally agrees on its recipe, and everyone loves to embellish it. There are endless variations and tweaks to it. Don't get me wrong, it needs to be made the way you like it. If you like to add lemon juice or honey or nutmeg or whatever, make it so. I'm going to make a base toddy. Where you take it from there is up to you. This base recipe is an interpretation of a couple recipes from everyone's favorite 19th century American bartending messiah, Jerry Thomas. In the 1862 edition of How to Mix Drinks, Thomas calls for the drink to be made with scotch or Irish whiskey, and uses a great technique to incorporate lemon oils into the drink by rubbing a sugar cube along the skin of a lemon peel. Later, in the 1887 edition, Thomas calls for the drink to be made with bourbon or rye. The only part of this recipe that Thomas left out was the cloves, but the drink needs a little spice to prop it up and stand it on its own two feet. This one should really be called a hot whiskey toddy. It's pretty much implied these days that a hot toddy is made with whiskey. But a toddy is like a sour. It's just a category. You can make them with brandy, rum, gin, applejack, singani, mezcal, pretty much whatever you have lying around. You may want to swap out some of the garnishes and spices, but that's where the embellishments come in. For the whiskey version, make it with whatever whiskey you think is going to work best. Irish, scotch, bourbon, rye, whatever strikes your fancy. I seem to have a thing for whiskeys with a bird on it. And speaking of whiskeys with a bird on it, in the 1862 edition, Thomas has an amazing recipe for a toddy that uses equal parts Islay scotch and rye whiskey that's saddled with the unfortunate name of the Spread Eagle Punch. That drink could use a little rebranding. But if you want your toddy to spread eagle, I'm not going to be the one to stop you. Even if you don't like whiskey, this will be an easy one for you. You get all of the flavor of the whiskey with virtually none of the bite. I like using an overproof whiskey for a hot drink like this. The whiskey has to be able to stand up to the boiling water, and you want to be able to taste it. The steeped lemon and clove really help balance the drink. It's like an herbal tea with booze in it. And what better way to warm your bones on a chilly evening? We're going to build this one in the glass, and we'll start with the sugar. You want to release some of the lemon oils, and we'll do this by grating the sugar cube along the skin of the lemon. Some sugar will drop in the glass, some will be left behind on the lemon. You want to shave down about a third of the cube, then drop it in the mug. Next we'll pour boiling water over the sugar, then give it a quick stir to dissolve the sugar. Measure two ounces of whiskey, pour it in your mug, then top it off with more boiling water. We're going for a ratio of two to one, water to whiskey, so we're shooting for about four ounces. Give it another quick stir. Cut a fat swath of lemon peel along the area used to grate the sugar. Be careful not to cut into the white pith. Stud a couple cloves into the peel, then drop it into the drink for garnish. And there you have it, a little drink to warm you up, the hot toddy. Enjoy. Click here for more videos, be sure to subscribe, and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.